Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl TG. I just wanted to get on here real quick and just give you a a little bit about what's on my heart. Um, a few days ago, a really good friend of mine um, asked me to send a video um, and I was and am truly honored. Uh, Mr. William Bagwell, thank you. God bless you. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to go check his page out, Will's Motivation on Instagram awesome and amazing young man that never ceases to amaze me you can also check him out on facebook at william bagwell and um if i find out anywhere else you could check him out at i'll make sure to uh put that in the description box but i was excited i was elated i was honored humbled nervous scared but i was like y'all i'm gonna do my hair i'm gonna put some makeup on it's about to go down. I'm going to slay and I'm going to give this good word that God has given me to give. I didn't know what that word was going to be, but I was going to give it. I was sitting here tonight doing homework and God said, go make the video. And I said, oh, but no. Do you see what I am looking like, Lord? Not about to happen. He said, go make the video. Why would he do that to me? Because the word that he has given me is be you. There are so many of us that wear a mask. There are so many of us that try to impress the masses, try to impress people, try to be something that we're not. There are so many of us that feel unpretty without makeup on or certain outfits or our hair done a certain way that we almost refuse to give God glory and refuse to do what he called to do unless we are perfect or the way that he the way that we think we're supposed to be but God wants me to let you know that he created you perfect the way that you are right now is perfect the way that I am right now is perfect now I'm not saying that I'm a perfect person but I'm saying that he created me in his image without makeup without my hair done I'm still his child Amen. I'm still his child. The Bible tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Why don't we feel that way? Why don't we fear? Why don't we feel that we are fearfully and wonderfully made? So often the voices of the world come and tell us that we are not good enough. They tell us that we are not strong enough, that we are not pretty enough. In 1999, TLC created a song called Unpretty. And I was listening to the lyrics of that song not long ago, and wow, the things that people say to make you feel unpretty to where you begin to believe it. It doesn't matter how long my hair is. It doesn't matter how short my hair is. It doesn't matter how curvy I am, how straight I am. It doesn't matter how big my lips are, how small my lips are. It doesn't matter what I wear. I am pretty because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139 tells me that. He created me. My first lady says all the time, who am I to talk about God's child? So when I talk down about myself, I'm still talking about God's child. So I have to make sure that I get into a place in a position to do the things that he has called me to do. My sister Siobhan said something that was so powerful to me. She said, God wants to do something in your now. Thank you, sis. That blessed my life like never before. Siobhan Thompson, go check her out. When I say she's all the way on fire and she has an academy called uh, She's on Fire, <laughs> go check her out. God wants to do something in your now, but you can't let you feeling unpretty, you feeling unequipped, keep you from doing that very thing that he is calling you to do. What is he calling you to do? My sister Lanika posted something called Just Do It. Okay, yeah, a Nike quote. But if you listen to that post, just do it. Is God calling you to write a book? Is God calling you to write a song? Is God calling you to preach a message? Is God calling you to speak life into someone? Is God calling you to bless someone? Is God calling you to minister to someone, to go somewhere, to start a job, to quit a job, to start a business? Whatever it is that God is calling you to do, do it. Just do it.
because he wants to do something in your now. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God created you to do what you need to do and nobody can do it like you can do it. I can't preach like you and you can't preach like me. And that's because God gave us the gifts that he gave us. So just do it. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I pray, I pray that you step out of that boat. But not only do you step out of that boat, but that you keep your eyes and your hearts focused on Jesus. Because he is all you need. I love you. God bless you. Check out Will's Motivation on Instagram. I guarantee you, you will be blessed. Peace.